So we're at John Donoghue's gym uh, for about 45 minutes once a week on a Tuesday afternoon and 45 minutes usually doesn't seem that long but when we're at JD's gym it's a quite a long time. So it's a pretty gruelling session. First probably half of it is, is really technique based with our tackling and stuff like that and the last sort of half of it is, is pretty, pretty full on in terms of getting a sweat up and, and doing different types of exercises that gets the heart rate going a bit. So. It's pretty hard, it's pretty gruelling, but you know, it's in our best interest, so everyone sort of takes it on and, and goes pretty hard. Last year was pretty disappointing in that respect with our tackling. It wasn't the, our greatest sort of strength throughout the year, so I guess working on it now and getting our bodies conditioned to it now is, is probably the best way to attack 2019. And a nice crunching tackle on Burton. Game's gone up a notch. At the start of the year, pretty consistently. Some games I was in the game, some games I wasn't, so... Um, it was good that I think it was just before the bye, Richo came to me and with a role. It gave me a starting point you know, before most games and just something to think about, one player to focus on. So it really helped my game and um, I was able to help the team just by playing my role. Today we're here at Sages Cottage Farm uh, working with Wallara, uh, who are people who give uh, opportunities to those with a bit of a disability uh, just through day-to-day -day activities, the whole club, staff and players uh, are joining in and everyone's giving it their all, so it's, it's good to be here. So once you start working around and they'll actually just get up and move. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to get a photo with Steely. Yeah. It's a bit different to um, a football training session, but uh, we've been doing a lot of stuff with pigs and rabbits and little animals like that and it's been good fun. We went out the back and, and built a boardwalk for the um, outdoor area around the pond so um, we're really enjoying it and it's only a half a day of our program and out of our schedule so it's really not much to be able to give back to, to the people here at Wallara. Just like building the boardwalks, um, they're going to have that for the rest of their time here and it makes it easier for for someone in a wheelchair or anyone like that. So we're happy to give back for half a day and have a kick and take some photos, sign some autographs, if it's gonna put a smile on their faces and um, they can take that with them for the rest of their lives. Go. Um, yeah, obviously come back in in round 19. Um, just saw it as a bit of an opportunity. I knew it was um, a pretty important time in my career to, to really play some good footy and to show that I was good enough. It was, I was out of contract and I knew that I had to step up and pull my finger out and, and take that opportunity because you never know where I was going to get to. I was lucky enough to have some good form in the later part of the year and string some good games together, but a lot of good form in the VFL helped me with that and speaking a lot with Ben McGlynn and um, having him to, to fall back on and share my thoughts with him was, was pretty important. And then, yeah, when the time came in round 19, I think I just let it rip and had the backing from Richo and the players and the leadership group and, um, yeah, they were really supportive and gave me a lot of confidence. This has got to work for the Saints and it does. I uh, flew over to Europe not knowing where I was going to be when I was probably come back and I had to speak with my manager pretty regularly and. Um, I had a lot of thinking to do myself and I suppose not having my family there to talk to about important decisions was a bit tough but I had a few of the boys there that were always um, willing to have a chat if I needed to and um, at the end of the day it was a pretty easy decision to stay at St Kilda for two years. Uh, I love the club, I love the boys. Um, I was pretty excited by the way we finished off and um, we've obviously got some new recruits now and we're, we're really looking forward to 2019, so um, as am I. The other night we had a bit of a donor dinner at the club, just giving back to the people who donated to this facility in RSCA Park. 
Um, so a few of us boys um, put the aprons on and, and waited for the night, which was good fun because I don't think most of us had, had ever done that before. We're down here at RSA Park. The boys are waiting the tables. Um, we're celebrating a night with the donors um, because they made everything possible here at RSA Park. It's a great feeling to give back to the, the people that um, contributed to Moorabbin. Um, you know, we're pretty privileged to be able to train here and come in, in here every day, so I'm sure all the players are very thankful. Yeah, the vibe around the club is, is pretty good at the moment with the new boys in, Dan Hanabry and, and Dean Ken, and also the new recruits, as well as our coaches in, in Lades and, and Rats and Billy Slater. So they've all been great so far, and you know, everyone's pretty keen to get stuck into training and, and get through Christmas, and then obviously come January, we'll, we'll get stuck in the good stuff. So. We need to work hard, we need to get better. The boys have come back with a great attitude to work hard and, and learn from new coaches. Everyone's looking to, to work on the game plan and, and build that and I feel like we've got a real sense of, of mateship at the club and we're really holding high standards. Doing everything 100% in pre-season is, is what pre-season's all about. It's just putting money in the bank, I guess, for, for, for later on in the year. So the more work you do here, the best you're going to get yourself um, come, come the seasons. Hopefully by round one that we're, our game plan's ready to go. We've had some good hit out in the JLT series. We really want to build that winning culture and we really want to get off to a winning start and, and kick start our campaign for 2019.